Recently I was on a TV program and the uh, interviewer asked me a question. He said, evangelicals, that's a scary word to a lot of people. Why is that? My name is uh, Jeff Tunnicliffe. I have the privilege of being the International Director for the World Evangelical Alliance. Uh, World Evangelical Alliance, or WA, is a global association of, of 128 national evangelical alliances or fellowships. Our community represents over 400 million evangelical Christians around the world. My response to the interviewer was, you're right, there are some scary evangelicals. But part of the reason they, they appear scary is that sometimes the media uh, has taken a narrow slice of, of, uh, in representing who evangelicals are. They'll take the most radical voices, the most strident uh, people uh, within our community and say that they kind of represent all evangelicals. As I travel around the world, I want to tell you that simply is not true. Uh, the media goes to the, the edges, to the strident, to those voices that are, have, are powerful in some ways. But as I, as I look at average evangelical Christians around the world, I see uh, women and men who believe the Bible and want to live out the Bible, what it means, the words of Jesus in today's world, living out their faith, having a personal relationship with God, but also making an impact in their community and in their nation. Evangelical Christians, yes, we're concerned about the family, Yes, we want to create a culture of life within our nations, but we have so many other issues that we're deeply concerned about as well. Why? Because we believe that's what the Bible asks us to be concerned about. That's what Jesus asks us to be concerned about. He asks us to be concerned about the poor, the disenfranchised, the refugee. He asks us to be concerned about uh, those who are persecuted for their beliefs. He asks us to care about the children who are being exploited, who are being uh, caught up in a slave trade, who are being exploited for sexual purposes. He has to be concerned about those who are dying in Darfur and that senseless uh, war that's been going on with the genocide that's been taking place. And so I see evangelical Christians around the world engaging in so many different issues, seeking to make an impact in their society. We're certainly not perfect, far from it but where I think so many are trying to make a difference in the world. And we in the World Evangelical Alliance, we're, as a as global association, we try to connect our evangelical Christians together. We try to be a voice together for our community, a voice that speaks to these kind of issues so that we can see nations become stronger, so that we can see children grow up to live healthy, productive lives, so that we can see poverty ended, so we can see lives transformed. I hope you'll visit our site at World Evangelical Alliance. You'll find a lot of information there about us and uh, that you'll come back to this YouTube and hear more about what we're doing and some of our initiatives. Um, as evangelical Christians, as we journey on, we really do want to make a difference. We want to build relationships uh, and with uh, others in the other faith communities. We also want the opportunity of living out our faith in peace in the world. The world has so many problems and we want to be a part of solving those problems. Thanks for listening to me today.